Good afternoon. Again, Marco here, bringing my kitchen to your home. Today, we're making an Ecuadorian shrimp ceviche, which is one of my favorites from my own country, and it's good. I'm gonna give you a little bit uh, of the ingredients. We have oranges, make orange juice with this uh, lime juice, the onions, red onions I preferred, uh, which is likely to make. We have about uh, a two pound of shrimp. Uh, we clean them up and we, we, we um, give them a little boil for about three minutes. Uh, we have over here the, uh, the red onions already cut up. We have the orange juice, we have the lime juice. We, I use about six or seven limes. Uh, we have here the tomato um, based. Uh, it's made, well, I make it, I, I boil the tomato in, in uh, with some garlic and after it's everything boiled I take it peel it out and I blend it and it come up with this juice I also add a little ketchup and a little mustard as well that's one of my tricks we have here some of the uh, the shrimp broth that it came out from all this uh, we have salt and pepper we have olive oil and right now I'm gonna start on mixing um, this here first okay we have the shrimp already this is the onions. I like to use it this way. Other people just go ahead and mix everything together, but I found this way. This way, it's a uh, uh, very good. Um, what I have is a whole onion, and I, I what do you call this? I, I kind of uh, cut it up in pieces, and and um, and got it this form, very nice and thin. So this is a, a new thing that my good friend, God rest her whole soul, Olivia, she, she gave me this recipe and I learned it and I loved it and every time I make it, every time I, I, I think about her, I remember this. So my heart and kisses to you, wherever, wherever you are. So this is the way she taught me. We got onions, like I said, and, and I go ahead and I take the cilantro because if I cut it up in, in, the, in a board, you know, in, in a cutting board, it's actually, you know, loses some of the flavor. And cilantro is one of the um, vegetables that has a lot of aroma, a lot of flavor into it. So I rather take much, much of this stuff and, and put it inside the uh, the onion, which which I'm doing. You gotta be careful, you gotta use a sharp knife, but you know, you squeeze it hard. You can zoom in on this if you want. You know, I have my, uh, my director here. See how it is without it even cutting or, or scratching anything. And if, it, if, if it's too big, that's okay because everything's gonna blend right in afterwards. So, okay, so see how you have this? Like I said, this is this is the way I was taught and, and, it, and it works. So now you go ahead and put some of the, uh, some of the uh, lime juice in here. And then you mix it or you put also a little bit of salt you know a, say a, a half a teaspoon of salt i know it looks a lot but it's um it's okay <laughs> it doesn't it's uh, you know you got to do this uh put the salt as as you as, as you prefer it's up to you if you, like, if you like a little too salty on it or not too much the uh, shrimp itself, I made it with hot water and also with a, with, a, with a pinch of salt. So it's got some salt in there already. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some more of this lime juice in there. Just move it around and get the flavors in here. Okay, now I'm gonna add this into the shrimp. Chico is, uh, is a little annoyed right now. Chico! Okay, you got it? You got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm back again. Just needed to get a, a tomato. I'm going to cut this, this tomato in pieces in, in little cubes. It's only to add a little more chunks, you would say, in the tomato, the, 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 the freshness of the plum tomato into the, uh, the, the, the ceviche. So once you cut this in pieces, nice and fresh, you also put it on there. Um, 
and you see how simple this is. Like I said, the preparation is uh, it's one of the key points on, on this dish or any dish that you're making. You know, it, it is sometimes a lot of a lot of work to do, a lot of prepping, but in the long run, when you come out with a good good recipe and in, uh, in, in knowing your foods, okay. All right, I'm gonna have to uh, bring it a little, zoom it a little closer, please, don't be shy. Okay, this is where everything's gonna come together. So now I have, again, the shrimp, the onions, the cilantro, tomatoes, I'm gonna add a little more orange juice in here. Orange juice. I mean, uh, lime juice, sorry. Thank you, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Producer. I'm gonna add the orange juice. You saw it, very good, very good, um, oh, the lime juice. Then I go ahead and, and mix everything up. Mm -hmm. You can tell, look how good it's getting. It's mixing, it's mixing. Now you're gonna you have all those flavors soaking the shrimp with the lime juice and the orange juice. Okay. Now you go ahead and add your tomato. Tomatoes um, juice that I call it. See, it's coming out even better. Look at that. Nice and red. I like to use to the large structs. Since it's, it's going on like this and you, I need a little more broth, I have here the the um, the shrimp stock that I did with the peel, when I peeled it and cleaned it. You add that in there. So now you have the ceviche. This is, uh, this, I'm, 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 I love salsa, so this is a typical, um, Salsa music that you listen when you're eating or making ceviche. You know I love salsa. Salsa is the best. So otherwise you drizzle some of this black pepper on it. And like you never thought about this before, Mr. Salt Bay, my buddy, drizzle some of the salt in there. I love you. I love you people. So right now this is the uh, almost conclude the um, presentation or or this I'm gonna have to try it yes yes I will so I'm gonna go ahead and get a spoon and I want to try I want to just try the broth okay oh put some more lime juice there we go now this ceviche is now completed Put some more of uh, olive oil on this. Maybe about a, a shot, you would say. Shot of this. I would like to thank everybody that's turning into this channel. The, um, I wanna see if I could do a Spanish version of this because I have a lot of um, Spanish speaking fans as well. So don't be afraid, uh, I mean, if you know, translate to your buddy, your husband, your wife, uh, your, you know, anybody that doesn't know how to speak English yet, but maybe they do, I love you, I love you. Later on, I'm gonna show you my attire, okay? I know this is, it, it looks normal to me, but pretty soon. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for about an hour or so, you know, get the, uh, the aromas going in there. So what I like to do is cover it up and then just put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, hour and a half or so. In the meantime, I'm gonna um, be making some tostado, which is uh, a dry corn with some chicharron, which are a uh, little fat pork, <laughs> okay? Well, anyways, it's gonna be good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chico. I know it's time. Cut, thank you. Hello again. An hour, hour and a half went by in the refrigerator and did this wonders. Now the ceviche is complete. Okay, now is the serving time. I'm gonna go ahead and serve it. Okay, this is like I said uh, before in my previous, previous um, uh, videos. Presentation is the most. 
okay? Give it, give it, this is for me, so I'm gonna give it a little more, more of the, um, more, more, more ceviche. Okay, whoop. This right here, what you have is tostado, which is the, um, uh, the, the dry corn. It, it's fried in a very low um, oil and it does magic. We also have a little pork, a little scallion, and it's mixed and it goes good with the um, with the ceviche. I made some rice again. This also goes with it. I'm running out of cilantro. So this is uh, what it looks like. Okay. So then again, oh, most important too, I made some ahi. Those who guys who love the ahis, which is a hot sauce, an Ecuadorian hot sauce. That's another video in the market. Now I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Correct? Who wants it? Who wants it now? Okay. I'm gonna try it. Okay. Mmm. Delicious. Better than I thought. <laughs> to my fans, I love you. This goes good with the nice cold beer. No advertising who makes the beer, but it's good beer. Thank you very much for watching my channel. Glad to see your likes. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the recipe uh, at the bottom of the screen. After the video. I love you. Ay, que rico esto se. Oh, I can't resist. Okay. Oh my gosh, can't wait. The corn is very good. Salud, chin chin, todos, everybody.